everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Emily today we have another vinyasa flow I've planned nothing probably around 20-25 minutes is my goal we'll start right away here in a seated position either kneeling cross-legged whatever is most comfortable roll your shoulder blades down away from the ears we'll start with the neck by dropping the left ear over to the shoulder left shoulder will reach the right fingertips out and then place the left hand on top of the head we're not pushing here, we're just letting the weight of the hand resting to pull our ear just a little bit closer to the shoulder. Breathing in. You can tilt the chin down a little bit, playing with the angle. Finding what spot works for you. Another breath in here. And we'll go right into the second side, other ear down over the right shoulder now reach the left fingertips up as we place the right hand on top of the shoulder um, as we place the right hand on top of the head you can play with the angle here try to notice how this side may feel in comparison to the other Another round of breath here. We'll exhale to release. I'm going to turn over to the side just so you can see me. We're tucking the toes underneath, looking to sit the hips back on the heels. You can walk the fingertips forward and just keep the fingertips on the mat, kind of working with how low your hips go if you are lacking that flexibility in the back of the feet. If you're able to sit up, up on the hips here, we'll reach the arms up and overhead, stretching into the back of the feet into the ankles. Breathing in, maybe a little back bend. And exhale. One more time, reaching the arms back up. And exhale, hands, heart center. We'll release the toes here, point the feet back. This time, sit back on the heels, walk the fingertips back as you just pick the knees up. So we're aiming to stretch in the front of the ankles now. You can roll the shoulders back, puff up through the chest. And exhale, come forward and through to tabletop position. A few rounds of cat and cow here. So breathing in, drop the belly, rounding up, looking up. Exhale, chin to chest, broaden across the shoulder blades and tuck the tailbone in as you exhale. Inhale, going through these motions using your breath. Two more rounds, working at your own pace here, your own rhythm. Last one. As you finish up here, you can straighten through the right leg, tuck the toes underneath and just rock it back and forth, stretching into that calf. When you're ready, tuck the knee into the chest, stepping forward and through in between the palms, low lunge, low into the hips here. <sighs> Deep breath. Kick into the right heel, straighten out through this right leg. You can have bend in the knee as well. Hamstring stretch, breathing in, find a flat back, half splits here. Breathing out, fold forward. Warming up the body. Dragging that right heel back as we push the left hip forward. And exhale, we'll come back through this lunge. Come through your easy twist. So left palm down, right fingertips reach up. An option here to reach behind you, kick up through the left leg. Going for a bind, a quad stretch here. A little bit of a twist as well. Breathing in, breathing out, release. I'll tuck the toes underneath. Take the hands out in front of you, pick the back knee up and kick up into a bit of a supported warrior three. So we're keeping the fingertips down on the ground both in front of us, but we're still stretching and straightening that back leg. You can look forward. 
or about a foot in front of you. A little bit of balance here, breathing in, breathing in, breathing out. Plant that back foot back down. Step back into your plank pose. You can drop the knees here to start. Breathing in, hold. Breathing out, everyone, knees, chest, chin, all the way down. Inhale, find your cobra pose, back bend. Exhale, come back down, tuck the toes, meet your way back to a downward facing dog. Breathing in through the nose, and out the mouth. It's all right, try to drop your heels as low as you can. Straightening out one leg and then the other, really waking up the backs of the legs now. When you're ready, we'll drop the knees back down, tabletop, and we'll go into the second side. So we'll straighten out through the left leg, keep the toes tucked, and kind of rock back and forth, waking up that calf muscle. When you're ready, hug and squeeze that knee up into the chest. And step it through, low lunge. Starting to warm up the body here. Tuck the back toes to straighten through this left leg, flexing through that heel. Baby bend in that knee if needed. Breathing in, find flat back. Breathing out, bowing forward. On your next inhale, we'll walk it forward to our low lunge. And then we'll open up into an easy twist, right hand down, left fingertips reach up, looking up. And if the flexibility is there, we'll go into our bind quad stretch here on the right side. Trying to drag that right heel in as close to the glute. Exhale, release. Tuck the back toes underneath. Pick up the back knee. Fingertips can reach forward as we kick up into that half lift warrior three variation. And exhale, go around the back foot, plant the palms. Take your flow, knees, chest, chin, or maybe chaturanga this time. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Getting into our flow, we'll reach the right leg up, three-legged dog, bend through that knee, opening up that hip, straighten out through the elbows. We'll straighten out through the leg, take the right knee to the right elbow, squeeze it in. A little bit of core work here, three-legged dog. Exhale, cross it over, right knee to left elbow, kick it through, planting that foot, opening up, coming up to a fallen triangle here. One breath, and then we'll plant the palm, hug the knee into the chest, three-legged dog, and then exhale, meet your way into a runner's lunge, keep the fingertips down low, rocking back and forth, and exhale, straighten through the front leg, finding a wide pyramid, we'll flow between these, find your runner's lunge, on the in-breath, on the out-breath, wide-legged pyramid. Breathing in, come forward. Breathing out, hold. Breathing in, coming forward, plant the right, plant the left palm, reaching up, easy twist. This time back knee is lifted. And exhale. We'll pivot on the back foot, opening all the way up into your warrior two. So big transition there. Straighten through this front leg. 
Reach as far forward with the right fingertips as you can before dropping it down. Trikonasana Triangle Pose. You can bend through your left this right leg, finding your side angle, keeping the fingertips on the ground. Finally, we'll float and take this forward into our half moon. Fingertips about a foot in front of the right foot, reaching up if it's accessible for you. If you want to make this a little harder, the option is to bend through the left leg and catch a hold of the left foot, taking a bound variation. Fingertips either stay on the ground or you can float them just above to engage the core a little more. Breathing in, breathing out. So from here, if you need your hands to support you, take a little support. We're going to find our way all the way up standing into a one-legged mounted. <laughs> no challenge to the balance there. We'll reach the arms up. And option to kick this left leg forward. Strong body here. Right hand heart center. Grab a hold again of this left foot. Reaching the arm forward, you can take it into a dancer's pose. So kicking the left foot into the left hand. As you lean forward, so you're kind of balancing opposites here. Take a breath in and out. Plant the left foot back, open back up to your warrior two. Breathing in, breathing out, hands and meet to the mat. Find your, your flow option to take a one-legged plank, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Breath here to stabilize, we'll get through to the second side, lifting the left leg up, bending through that knee, open up through the hip. Exhale, straighten, we'll take the left knee to the left elbow, squeeze it in. Exhale, three-legged dog, left knee to right elbow, squeeze it in, straighten through the leg, plant that foot, open up, ball and triangle, push into the feet to pick the hips up, breathing in, breathing out, plant this palm down, squeeze the left knee into the chest, kick it back up, three-legged dog, exhale, plant that foot, that left foot in between the palms, runners, lunge. Breathing in, looking forward, breathing out to straighten, wide pyramid. Inhale, come forward. Exhale to straighten. Inhale, forward. Exhale to straighten. Inhale, come forward. This time, plant the right palm. Reach the left fingertips up. Easy twist. From here, we'll plant the back foot and cartwheel all the way up to warrior two. Looking forward, getting low into this front leg. Straighten the left leg, reach as far forward as you can with the left fingertips and drop it down. Triangle pose. Option. Bending through this leg to find a side angle. So bend through the left leg. When you're ready, we'll float forward into our half moon. So I always have a harder time with my left side in this pose. So additional support may be needed. We are naturally asymmetrical. If you took the bind on the first side, we'll go for it here. Option to float the fingertips. The balance is in, the strength is there. And when you're ready, meet your way all the way up to a standing one-legged mountain. Arms go up and overhead, straighten out this front leg. Bend through the right leg, grab a hold again of the right foot with the right hand. Left hand to the heart center or reaching out in front of you. 
We'll start to pick up into the right foot. We are kicking into the right hand as we reach the left hand forward. And when you're ready, we'll release that back foot down, warrior two. Once again, sinking low into this left leg, just a little bit more strength. And cartwheel the arms down, option for a three-legged plank, the chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One breath in through the nose and out the mouth. Bend through the knees, looking forward, jump to the outside of the palms to a malasana squat. Push the elbows against the knees, pop up through the chest, nice tall spine here. Bit of a hip opener, can kind of rock in between the joints here. Then arm balance is in your practice. We can take a crow pose here. So a wide base with the fingers, spreading the fingers wide. Lift up on the toes. You can either place the knees to the inside of the shoulders. That's kind of painful for me personally. So I place them to the outside of my triceps. We'll rock forward. You gotta look about a foot in front of you, picking one foot up and then the other. Squeeze it all into a tight ball in the center. And if a jump back is in your practice, whether or not a jump back is in your practice, we'll meet our way back into a chaturanga, taking a flow, breathing into your upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. This time we'll plant the knees down to the outside of the mat, set the hips back, child's pose. Take a big full body breath in, allowing it to give your body permission to begin slowing down. Slowing down your heart rate, slowing down your breath. Two more breaths here. And walk your fingertips back towards your hips to lift yourself up. We'll meet in a seated position, the center of the mat, taking the right foot in front of or on top of the left, reaching the arms up and overhead. As we twist to the right, left hand to the right leg, looking over the right shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale back to center. Switch the cross of the legs. We'll go into the second side, reaching the arms up again. Right hand to the left knee, looking over the left shoulder this time. And exhale, come back to center. We'll close the eyes or take a soft gaze. A few more moments here in stillness to do a full body scan and allow yourself to return back to the present moment. Allowing your practice to come to a natural and conclusion rather than an abrupt one. Together, we can reach the arms up overhead. Fingertips come together. As we sigh out the mouth, hands to heart center, bowing forward, love and light me, season honors love and light you. That we say, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this apparently strong practice. I sure hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more. Until then, thank you so much.